Hello, MJ7NLK here and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, we have two new items. Item number one, we have a new sign. And item number two is a new intro sequence. So without further ado, roll the titles. News flash. News articles on the internet are reporting that the FCA have approved Cobra Electronics' request to legalize FM modulation on the CB radio frequencies in the USA. 60 years after the introduction of the Class D 27 MHz AM CB Radio Act, FM is now to be allowed. This information was revealed from the FCC memo, Opinion and Order on the Reconsideration WT Docket number 10-119 of the 15th of July 2021. Cobra Electronics, joined by President Electronics and other manufacturers, lobbied the FCA for its legalisation. There were various twists and turns, rejections and refusals, but finally the FCA approved the use of FM modulation. The, there is a link to the FCC's website and the docket below. In another news story, which I've just seen on my Amazon Alexa screen, is that a cat has returned to its original owners 11 years after it went missing. How unfortunate. Can you imagine that? Somebody else has had the pleasure of that cat for 11 years and now it needs substantial veterinary bills they've given the bugger back. I mean, just unbelievable. Today we are unboxing and undertaking a mini review of the President McKinley CB radio. We will also be doing a power output test in the various modes to see how it performs, so do stick around. The President Electronics Group originated in the USA and have been around since 1978. They have a European head office in France and distribute their radios throughout the European continent. All of their modern radios cover the various frequencies and mode differences within Europe such as AM, FM and FM UK channel plans. I am not sponsored by President Electronics, they haven't sent me this unit for review. All opinions are my own and no one has editorial influence over this content. My unit was purchased from Knights Electricom which is a UK CB radio specialist based in Lincolnshire. They have been providing CB radio supplies since the early 1980s with a 40-year track record behind them. I paid £240 XVAT as they are on special offer at present, so check out their website if you're interested in picking one up. The President McKinley is a DIN-sized legal AM, FM and single sideband CB radio that operates on all EU and UK bands between 26.965 MHz and 27.405 MHz. Its power output is 4 watts AM, FM and 12 watts upper sideband and lower sideband. In the UK, AM and single sideband has been legal since the 27th of June 2014, but your country may vary, so please check the rules in your region. The President McKinley is made in the Uniden factory in Vietnam, with superior build quality to many of the other President radios made in PRC, China. The two most important questions next are does it have an expanded mode? And for all of my fellow hams, does it have a Roger Beep? Because us hams go mad for a lovely Roger Beep. The answer to both questions is yes. This radio comes fully legally compliant in standard mode from the factory. It can, however, be expanded to cover 24.715 MHz to 30.105 MHz in the non-legal expanded mode. That's 10 meter, 11 meter and 12 meter band coverage. 
A good feature of the expanded implementation is that in the UK you do not lose the UK FM 40 channels. A long press of the F key switches between the UK FM 40 and expanded mode. Nice. In expanded mode you also get all alpha channels and a new indicator on the screen to reflect this. You can also rename the A, B and C band plans with your own custom two-letter references. And what you've been waiting to hear – power output. It roughly doubles in expanded mode. It increases to around 12 watts AM and 25 watts FM and single sideband. The power output can be adjusted in the menus up and down as required. Last but not least, the span function allows you to select the tuning steps in standard mode. The, the steps are 10 kHz 1 channel and 100 kHz 10 channel. In expanded mode, the steps are 100 Hz, 1 kHz, 10 kHz, 100 and 1000 kHz. This radio was made to be expanded. In previous implementations, like the President Richard, you have to solder a very small wire between two points to enable expanded mode. On this radio, the wire is already there. You just need to cut it and move a jumper and bingo, it's enabled. So we're going to have a, a quick scoot around the President McKinley box. Um, it is a 12 or 24 volt unit. Two plus three years warranty. Comes with automatic squelch control as virtually all of the President radios do. Not a great deal of additional information on this side, nor here. And we'll work our way to the back, which gives us uh, a stenciled sort of drawing uh, of the antenna, power connector, uh, and various uh, other bits and pieces. So let's get this open and see what's inside. I do hope we get the usual president sticker. Wow, we do. We get a very large president sticker. So that's the box. Those are the accessories, manuals and radio. So let's uh, let's have a look at the paperwork first. This is the first time this has been unboxed. Uh, we have not looked at this beforehand. That is the biggest president sticker I think I have seen. Um, don't quite know why it's uh, so much larger than all of the others, but uh, a welcome addition nonetheless. And we have the uh, user manual in multiple languages. We have it in French. We have it in Spanish. Good old English. And we have it in Polish. And at the back of the manuals you normally have the table of contents and band plans, uh, as we have here. Uh, we have the European CEPT bands, Polish, and we also have uh, India. <laughs> also contains a wiring diagram for the six pin microphone. Uh, we'll find out which one it comes with but I would imagine it comes with the DNC 520 uh, up down which is the 
standard microphone that comes with President Radios. So that's the President McKinley user manual, which you can download online. So before we crack into the radio itself, let's have a look and see what accessories we get. Sorry for the crinkling. Not much I can do about that. And it is indeed a DNC 520 up-down. A six-pin standard president microphone. Uh, these are really good microphones, but they, they feel light and they feel cheap uh, and some of the other manufacturers have uh, have some really nice uh, sort of metal grills on the on the front um, just uh, just would be nicer to have something that felt a bit more quality than uh, cheap plastic what else do we get in the box we get the usual uh, microphone clip and we get the hardware for attaching the radio to the bracket. And we also have the power cable. And we'll just have a quick look and see what fuse you get in here. I imagine it will be a 5 amp. Might actually be a 6 amp. Let me double check. Right, apologies for that. Um, my eyesight is not as good as it used to be, um, and I don't think the camera will uh, will pick this up. But it is a uh, it is a six amp fuse, which the device comes with. So that's helpful to know. So that's your cabling, and then moving on to the radio itself, we have the mounting uh, bracket for holding the radio and the radio itself just double check that there's nothing else in the box here it is uh, just padding padding and packing so be done with that now I was a bit wary about this radio when I initially saw it because I really did not like this. It looked very, very uh, flimsy and very easy to break off. Um, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this and I, I preferred the President Richard because it didn't have this silly heat sink sort of poking out the back. Um, but it, it feels relatively solid. I don't know how it's attached. Um, could be two screws going through into the body. Uh, I will open this in a minute um, so we can get a, a few photographs of the board and where you need to uh, cut and jumper to turn it into an expanded. Um, but let's just take a quick look. It is uh, it is quite a hefty little thing. Um, decent sized screen. We have the on off and squelch control here. Um, we have a volume or clarifier that looks like a clarifier there uh, and we have the channel select here um, so we will power this up in a minute and we'll do some uh, power testing in the expanded mode um, but we'll just have a, a quick sort of look around the device um, so nothing really there there's nothing on the sides or the or the bottom of any interest uh, we have the standard power connector um, and we have on the back here if my eyesight will will help me we have an extension speaker or an external speaker a PA speaker uh, and a and something to do with a microphone a Vox mic uh, that's what we have there so external speaker PA and a Vox mic are the uh, jacks on the back uh, and your standard uh, SO239 connector for a PL259 um, in interface in. Uh, and as mentioned before, um, this was purchased from Knights um, and they like to put their little stickers uh, on 
the unit itself. So quite a compact little device, uh, will fit comfortably in a DIN and the speaker is here so if you do put this in a dashboard you don't have any worries or concerns about covering the speaker um, like you do on the uh, President Richard. Um, let me just grab the uh, President Dick, wait a minute. So in comparison this is the uh, President President Richard uh, and you can see the um, size difference between the radios. It's not a great deal. Um, the the heatsink assembly on the back of the President Richard certainly does look like it's going to withstand uh, a little bit more of a beating um, than this little lump sticking out the back. Um, let's uh, let's open it up and uh, and have a look at the inside. Okay, we've now set up for the power test, but before we do that, we're going to have a look at the insides of the radio. I've undone this screw and three screws at the back, plus this screw here. Uh, that then enables you to lift up the lid and remove it. Looking at the inside of the radio, at the front, just behind the screen you can see here there is a there is a wire that has been cut i'll try and get a close-up of that so you can see the white wire that's been snipped so it comes connected uh, in order to expand or unlock you have to snip this little white wire here uh, and then there is a jumper to the right hand side here if the light's going to get that uh, and that jumper needs to move from the left position to the right position and then the radio is uh, effectively unlocked so next we are going to move on to the power test we're using a heavy duty 15 amp 14 gauge copper wire power cable to the radio. The radio is going to my power meter and then the power meter is going into a dummy load. And the extremely large president sticker as you can see for for size. So what we'll do first is jump on to AM, uh, channel 14, 271250, and we'll key up and see what sort of power output we're getting on AM. Let me see if the camera can catch that. Radio test, radio test, radio test, radio test. So it went up to around 16 watts there uh, on AM. So we'll jump it up to FM and see what we get there. So this is uh, FM expanded. And we'll try again. Radio test, radio test, radio test, radio test. Uh, so we're consistently getting about 19 watts there. Um, and just for the fun of it, we will switch it, as mentioned uh, previously, by holding the F key and waiting for three seconds. It will switch to uh, FM UK, uh, which is good to be able to do. And we'll just rerun that test. Radio test, radio test. Uh, again, no difference whatsoever. 19 watts output to the to the dummy load, uh, and then we can switch to uh, upper side band, uh, lower side band, and back to AM. Uh, I'll give you a quick run through of the menus. Uh, let me just uh, uncable everything here. So before we jump into the uh, quick run through of the menus, um, this is the uh, 100 watt uh, dummy load that I was using. Uh, and the power meter is an HF power meter. Uh, it's a, a Nissi a digital SWR and power meter RS70, uh, just in case you were wondering. 
Uh, again, probably you could probably purchase those from Knights as well if you needed to or on Amazon. So we'll have a, a quick look at the menus here. I don't know how well this is going to show up. Um, the Effectively, you have your um, clarifier here for your uh, single sideband. You have your squelch here and your volume control on the outside. Um, the mode button switches between AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband and back to AM again. Um, if you want to bring up the menu, you simply hold down this channel selector button and you wait and then it will come up and tell you that we're on Roger Beep at the moment. And as we move the channel selector, it will jump to span. Hopefully you can see this. Um, mic type, SWR, etc. And we're currently set to uh, tone zero. Uh, sorry, I can't read it at the same time. Uh, emergency one and two. Uh, band name, that's where you set the um, two letters for the A, B, C. Um, and this is where you set the uh, color of the display. If you push the channel selector again, it will then let you cycle through uh, green, blue, cyan, yellow, uh, purple, I think that's supposed to be, uh, clear maybe, and then back to uh, orange. And then you just push the menu button again. And if you wait for a few seconds, it will jump back to um, the normal screen uh, as it's just done and this is your channel selector for channel 15 um, because it's expanded we've got the uh, in between the alpha 16 17 18 19 and then you can see the symbol there in the uh, in the leg of the nine to to show that a very simple to use, uh, nice, uh, nice, easy, clear, and uh, radio. This is a step up from the President Dick, sorry, President Richard, which up until today was my go to and favourite CB radio. The McKinley has better audio with the front facing speaker and the killer feature of single sideband. You need this radio in your life, and under no circumstances should you snip that little wire and move the jumper over one position. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. If you did, then please help the channel out and like the video, and please subscribe. Always happy to hear from genuine viewers and like-minded hams. Let me know if you have one of these radios and your thoughts and experiences using it. Until next time, take care.